What is the color of justice in America? According to the Sentencing Project Advocacy Group, 60% of all people in prison are of a racial or ethnic minority. The U.S. has the highest rates of incarceration of any country in the world, even though we claim to give equal rights to all. In 2010, there were 844,600 black males in prison, versus 1,341,354 in some form of post-secondary education. Think of that as an equivalent of 63% of black male college students being in prison. As of 2011, there are now also 1 million women passing through some aspect of the criminal justice system, with around 204,000 in prison or jail, and the rest on probation and parole. Of those numbers, black women make up 35% of the population, 28% are Hispanic, and 38% are white. So what are the main reasons that people of racial and ethnic minorities are being incarcerated? Nearly half of all prisoners were arrested for some form of nonviolent drug, property, or public order crimes. In 1986, Congress passed the Anti-Drug Abuse Act, which established minimum sentencing guidelines for drug offenses. This act made possession of 5 grams of cocaine the same as for 500 grams of powder cocaine for sentencing. It also established minimum sentences for marijuana possession. These guidelines stayed in effect until 2010 with the passing of the Fair Sentencing Act. Disparities in legal representation have also led to higher incarceration rates for minorities. Law enforcement tactics of intimidation and coercion, such as in the case of the Central Park Five, led to prison sentences for five New York City teens accused of rape. They were all exonerated by DNA evidence, but not until after serving anywhere from 5 to 12 years each for a crime they didn't commit. In this day and age of a supposed colorblind legal system, it is hard to ignore the reality of who is in prison and for what reasons. Until society can realize the bias built into the system and deal with these discrepancies, our justice system will continue to be broken.